mean, we would never walk into any um, franchise establishment and see jokes depicting images from the Holocaust. Mm -hmm. You would never see that. And they were, or planned to eat at this establishment last night, and they were disturbed to find lynching imagery embedded in their table. We believe that it's unacceptable for a family-friendly restaurant to have racist imagery depicting a lynching um, at the restaurant. And As me and Chantel Allen uh, came to Joe's Crab Shack to experience an early birthday dinner for my friend, we had uh, seated ourselves. We were seated, it's funny because things work in strange reasons that we were seated somewhere else. And I asked for that booth specifically and they cleaned it off for us and let us sit there and that image was sitting embedded in the table. And as Chantel Allen pointed out, like she said, this was a lynching. So I got up and I looked and I noticed and it was. And it had a, a, a cartoon character saying, all I said was I didn't like the gumbo in a joking matter. And so instantly me and Chantel, we just felt sick and confused. And, and so as we looked more into it, we noticed that it had a date in a city in Texas, Grossbeck, Texas, in the date of the time, and it said lynching. So we researched it, and it turns out to be a lynching of, of, of two black men that were accused of robbing and murdering a white man in 1895. After we discovered the imagery, we, we talked to the manager and brought it to their attention and explained to them why we were leaving his establishment and why we felt the way we did about the offensive image. And he was, he was apologetic and understanding. They offered me a, a free meal. Me yeah. and Shantae yeah, Allen, a free meal. Both of us, we don't want that. And why did you turn it down? Because we would no longer be eating at any Joe's Crab Shack that supports um, white supremacy and racism. I actually just spoke with a good friend of mine out in Los Angeles and I just said, you know, I was at Joe's Crab Shack last night and ran into this image and she said, oh, I know exactly which one you're talking about. There's a group of white people all around this black guy hanging from a tree. I said, no, not the tree. There's one, he's on a platform. She said, no, the one I've seen, he's hanging from a tree at Joe's Crab Shack. This is in Los Angeles. So I do believe that this is around the nation. Um, when we talked to the manager, he said that he was pretty sure that these tables were designed by a particular person. And if that particular person had the mindset to pick that particular picture, I'm sure they picked quite a few more that are similar. They, they want to uphold the white supremacy ideal, and so therefore they're going to spread it throughout the nation. It's not just going to be in one table in one spot. I'm an African-American studies major, so when I looked at it, it was clear to me that was a lynching. You know, and when I seen 1895, I was pretty sure it was a lynching. You know. After we left, the manager did call back and he, he wanted to try and clear up the situation by saying that this was an executed execution rather than a lynching. I had to somewhat <laughs> explain to him that, you know, back in those days, they often put, you know, small crimes on, on African Americans so that they could, you know, they could justify this glory, glorifying image that they were about to produce in front of people. So Are you stunned that someone would find humor in that image, that they would, you know, place a, a, a joke quote next to it? In 2016, yes. I am absolutely, <laughs> I'm appalled. Like, I don't understand why they think that this is some kind of joke, the trauma that we endured on our black bodies. And so to see this being depicted in this manner and the way that it's being handled and responded to is just, is just totally inappropriate. Um, at this day and age, Ignite Restaurant Group, who owns the franchise of Joe's Crab Shack. Uh, I believe their president's name, his last name is Merritt. That brother should be ashamed of himself, Robert Merritt. Really should be ashamed of himself that you're not paying that enough detail to your corporate entities that you manage, to what art is being put up and all that, and whether it's, whether it's him personally, whoever, that there's no corporate responsibility to a people that you're serving in a community who have been marginalized, who have been oppressed. I mean, that's just, that's just unacceptable. If these were pictures of the Syrian uh, refugees that have been killed during their process, it'd be a whole different uproar. They wouldn't be coming and offering a meal as compensation. It's, and it's, this thing is systematic. 
and it's not some it's not some uh, uh, administrative oversight that oh we didn't know whoever made the table somebody approved the furniture uh, 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 architectural design of that furniture to be placed in each restaurant across the nation. Right. Minneapolis NAACP is standing with these diners today and making three demands of Joe's Crab Shack and its corporate entities. Number one, we are requesting an immediate public apology for what happened here in Roseville, Minnesota. Number two, we are demanding an immediate removal of all racist imagery from Joe's Crab Shack here in Roseville, Minnesota and around this nation. Third, we are asking Joe's Crab Shack to engage in corporate responsibility by making a donation to a local community-based organization that focuses on African-American youths and teenagers in our community. And we would also urge other restaurants to pay attention to its decor to ensure that they are not also perpetuating racist imagery in its establishments. Are you gonna take any boycott action against Joe's? As of this time, that is undecided. So the table is gone now? Yeah, the t table is completely out of the building, removed out of the building. That's what they told you or did you I went see? in and looked. Okay. And there's no table. As a lifelong uh, member of this community and an elder, this is really unfortunate. You know we had mob lynchings in Duluth, Minnesota of African American men. And here we are in 2016 having these images put in front of us in the public. It's really not acceptable and changes do have to be made. And people that stand for social justice need to come up and speak out about this and contact this corporation and let them know that they will not support their businesses and we will not tolerate this any longer. The whole notion of how white privilege creates blindness, you know, they said that the, the managers see it like, I mean, yeah, I understand there's all type of imageries that are within restaurants, but it's just like, you know, it, it, I'm sure if there were pictures of Jews, yeah. it'd be a whole different ball game. We were in Selma last year for the 50 year uh, Jubilee celebration and there was uh, a lynching down that way of, uh, they found the man hanging. Um, there was a lynching just on uh, the playground out, I think it was like a Virginia or out in DC of a, of a fire. So it's like, this stuff is still happening and we're acting like it's not happening. And it's really happening and we got to speak to it, call it what it is. And with this political, campaign going on in this country. Uh, it's like a can of worms has been opened. There's mm -hmm. a lot of hatred and bigotry that's coming out, um, you know, with the removal of African Americans that attend the events that Donald Trump has mm -hmm. and is speaking out against people and Ku Klux Klan and what have you, supporting him publicly and that being okay. You know, these are organizations with people that just have hate in their heart. Right. And it's right. not good for our country.